me introduce to y'all as the one son of a musician refused to fall. Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a quick tip on how to increase the number of undos in Adobe Photoshop. This has been one of the biggest things that when I've shown designers who've even used Photoshop for years, they didn't know how you could do this or that it was even possible. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video on it. So let's first grab, uh, this is just a new document in Photoshop. I'm gonna open up a new layer here and I'm just gonna draw some, some squigglies out here, right? So most of you know that what you can do is you can undo with Command Z, but when you hit it again, it doesn't go back. It doesn't keep going back. It just undoes and redoes that same last thing that you did. That's because up in edit, there's undo, and there's also step forward and step backward. Now it's important to know these because over here in window, there's this thing called history panel or history, and it shows all of the actions you've, you've taken previously. And you can actually click back to an action to uh, go back to it or to undo to that action. So the reason that these are called step forward and step backward is because you can see that it steps forward or backward in the window pane over here. And you can do that with uh, Option Command Z or Shift Command Z. So, how do I get more of these history states, right? Go up to Photoshop Preferences and then go down to Performance. Inside of Performance, there's History and Cache. And you can do any of these presets, but you can also change these history states. I believe Photoshop defaults to 20. You can drop this down and increase it to as many as a thousand if you want to. Although, at a thousand, don't forget that you know you got you got your RAM and stuff here, and you got your cache size, so you're going to be storing a ton of states, especially in a large Photoshop document. I like to keep this between 50 and 100 at least, um, so I'm going to set mine to 100 and hit OK. So that's how you increase the number of history states in Photoshop, thereby increasing the number of undos. But it's important for you to know that an undo is just undo redo. That Command Z is just undo and redo. So what you really need is to step forward and step backward through your history states and your history panel uh, to actually undo more than once and then use preferences to increase that to the amount that you want to increase it to. Thanks for watching you guys. If you liked this video, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and freebies. I'll see you next time.